Hello and welcome to Airport Sim, your ultimate ground handling simulator for an incredibly realistic airport experience. Airport Sim is your gateway to a world of unparalleled authenticity, featuring precise in-game tasks, real-life airports, licensed planes, vehicles and real-time weather systems. This immersive experience can be yours for just £29.99 on Steam, links are in the description. Now let's dive into all that Airport Sim has to offer. Firstly, there are four gameplay modes. Scenario, gameplay based on stacked flight plans, predefined weather conditions and tasks you'll have to complete in sequence. Challenge, feel like you can handle any situation at the airport? Well, go on and test your skills by placing as high as possible on the scoreboard. Co-op, together you can do more and have more fun. Invite your friends to join you on an adventure at one of the busiest airports. You can have up to three friends join you Simply create a server and invite them, it's that easy. Free play, no rules here. Go and explore airports at your own speed and do as you very well please. You can watch the planes come and go or get involved, it's your choice. Lacking a bit of customization, for example your own airline? Well don't worry, as there is full Steam Workshop customization. Airport Sim is published by Iceberg Interactive and has been developed by MS Games with support from MK Studios, developers of add-ons Microsoft Flight Simulator and Lockheed Martin's P3D. Thanks to these guys for sponsoring today's video. So what can you do in Airport Sim? You have a multitude of roles to choose from. Follow me car driver, take control of a follow me car and skillfully guide aircraft to their designated parking stands. Marshaller, stand on the airport apron and expertly guide aircraft into their positions. Ground handling specialist. Once the aircraft is in place, you can secure it by placing chocks, cones and connecting a ground power unit. Catering. Ensure the onboard refreshments are well stocked by driving the catering truck, keeping those IB for bound passengers happy. Passenger services. Operate the passenger stairs and manage the passenger bus, efficiently collecting and dropping off passengers to and from the terminal. Be sure to drive nice and smooth. Jetway operator. If your stand doesn't have a bus or stairs, fear not. You can operate the jetway for a seamless boarding experience. Baggage handler. Load the aircraft with baggage, but be careful to not unleash your inner Swiss port and avoid smashing those bags wide open. Fueling specialist. Planes need fuel and you can play a crucial role in ensuring they are ready for their journeys by safely refueling aircraft. Finally, pushback. Take control of the mighty bison pushback truck and safely guide aircraft out of their parking positions. Airport Sim offers you two incredible aircraft to operate, the Airbus A320neo with liveries from Wizz Air, Atlantic Airways, Airbus, Airport Sim and Jamea. Secondly, the Boeing 737 MAX features liveries from Interair, DOT, Airport Sim and two Norwegian liveries. As for airports, Airport Sim is currently available with four stunning locations. Keflavik in Iceland, Vegar in the Faroe Islands, Warsaw in Poland and Key West south of Florida. Airport Sim also has all tutorials for everything so you even get a tutorial for the tablet, the follow me, the marshal, trucks and cones, the GPU, the passenger stairs, catering, shuttle bus, jetway, luggage for the 737 and the F320, fueling for both aircraft separately as well as they've got different fueling systems and as well on how to push back and do a walk around. Right, so we're going to do a challenge. So we've got a challenge. We'll go to Keflavik and we'll do the departure of the evening. So we can see on the right what we're expected to do. So we're going to be doing a bit of fueling. Connect, disconnect the jetway. We'll do the water round, bit of push by action, and then we'll get rid of the cones. So we've got 47 minutes to finish this challenge. Beautiful. So where are we? Let's press tab. We'll get to the um, iPad. Uh, we're on stand 46 and we want to go to uh, stand number 11. So if we go down to, we'll try and find 11, which is uh, over here. Here is 11. If we, we can teleport to this vehicle by clicking on it. And here we are, stand 11. Unfortunately, uh, the stand numbers don't show. That would be nice, just your situational awareness around the airport trying to trying to find stuff using this map is uh, is a bit difficult so if we had uh, stand numbers that would be cool see some people in the terminal there very nice so what do we need to do obviously we're under a time limit uh, we need to connect the ground power unit so if we get a little truck 
We'll press A to fire it up. Interesting sound on this one. Come press H to put the headphones on. Nice and quiet. Here is a GPU, so we'll uh, we'll turn this around. Now I hope my driving instructor doesn't see. Uh, eh, oh, wait, I, oh. That might actually be okay. So we'll jump out. Uh, a little bit far. A little bit far. Yeah, I hope my driving instructor doesn't watch this. Eh, still far. That should. To be fair, you can just drag it. Hey, there you go. Click on it and drag. Beautiful. Right. There we go. We'll drive this up. Clear on the left. And the GPU will go on the right side of the aircraft. Or well, the aircraft's right or left. Uh, about there, Irish. That will do nicely. We'll jump over that. Press F, we'll open that up. And uh, if we come to the back side here, we'll now press the green engine power and start up. Wait till we see some output on the voltage there. There it is. Set the engine to run. And uh, we'll pick, pick up the uh, GPU cable and we'll connect it up. Make sure you aren't outputting before you connect it up. So that wouldn't uh, wouldn't end very good. Next, uh, we need some uh, fueling. So we'll go and get the fuel tanker. Uh, this is cool. I like the uh, I like fueling. It's pretty. It's a different part of it. So there we go. There's a refueling truck. As you can see, look at the size of that bad boy. Got one there as well. Got them everywhere. So there we go. We'll jump in. And we'll start this up. So we are here, and we need to drive round. To, uh, to stand 11 there. Got a Norwegian Max over there. Pretty cool. So we'll pull alongside. Now, one thing that is interesting is with this specific fuel truck, you would actually park under the wing because obviously you can't reach and I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, you'd actually jump into this thing here, and then lift yourself up. But, unfortunately, uh, they haven't modelled that in this. That's fine. So there you go, we've got the fueling station there. So we'll go up, and uh, we'll open up the uh, side of the panel here. Oh, the engine should be running in the fuel truck, in case there is a fire or something. And you need to quickly get out of dodge. So we'll connect our grounding up to the landing gear, like so, so in case there's any sparks. Next thing is we'll pick up the hose. Like I say, you probably wouldn't be able to reach this, so you, you know, you drive it up. But uh, hey, this is as good as it's going as, as it is at the minute. Right, next thing is we'll come up to here. Uh, well, actually, we'll press tab first. We want to see how much fuel. So the aircraft needs 12,000 kilograms. So, well, fuel. So it's got currently got a three tons. So it needs it needs nine tons of fuel. So if we click this and we'll hold this down, this will set how much fuel we need. So we'll fill up the uh, wing, the wings first, and then we'll do the center. It's a bit different in the 737 compared to the A320. The A320 is literally one switch, which you set the desired fuel, and it does it for you. It's brilliant. Well, this is a bit more hands-on. There you go. So that'll give us 3, 6, 9, so that's 7.8, 8.8, 9.8, 10.8, 11.8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, Make sure they're centered. This will open these up. And there you go. You can see the fuel. I'd say that's maybe a bit quick. And then if we do the middle. There you go. It, it, what, what I find interesting is look how quick the wings have been filled. Uh, but then the center takes forever. Even though it's going to be the same amount of pressure. Potentially. I, I don't know. But there we go. So we'll let that do its thing. 
Hey, it's finished. That, that honestly took forever. <laughs> so there we go. We'll make sure they're closed up. And uh, we'll come. We'll turn off the fuel pump. Like so. And we'll disconnect the fuel holes. Uh, I think then we'll close this up. And then we can remove this. Nine thousand kilograms? Oh hang on. My math's not correct. Oh hang on. Oh. So Three thousand, three thousand nine hundred, three six nine, ten eleven. So hang on a minute here. So it wants nine thousand out of twelve thousand kilograms. But there's twelve tons in the tank, right? Three thousand nine hundred add three, three thousand nine hundred. That would give us seven. 7,800 add 4,200 as your 12,000 or maybe it wants 12,000 kilograms in total maybe not it wants 12,000 uplift not 12,000 total potentially okay so we'll just add an extra 3,000 um, kilos in the centre there you go make sure you're uplifting 12,000 kilograms not it's going to be 12,000 in total Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. So we'll give this uh, four. We'll give this seven thousand two hundred kilograms. Hey, there we go. I think that has done it. There we go. Yeah. So you need to uplift twelve thousand kilograms, not twelve thousand total. Roger that. Fuel pump is off. We'll then get rid of the hose again. Deja vu. I knew something was uh, was away when I couldn't pick up the uh, the grounding cable. What was that up as well? Wonderful. What is next? Confirm the task. Uh, so I believe if I press so I'll press one. Uh, if I go flight deck fuel, confirm the fuel. So that's done. Uh, we now need to deliver some mails. We'll get this out of the way first. We'll stick this over here. Hey, hey. There she is. And where do we need to go? Uh, it's around the corner, I think, isn't it? Yep, around the corner. I think we'll drive down here, can't we? Yeah. I believe we'll go to the rear door for this. Bricks. Bricks are good. Doesn't need to stop. Right, then let's see how good my driving is. So, we'll be a cheat. Uh, do I need to be a cheat? It does like to roll mine, so I'll just be careful of that. Nice and slow. Maybe come in a bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just, just rammed a seven three seven. <laughs> uh, right, if I press Y now, I'll we'll put them down, and for pressing up arrows, not we're, we're too far out. It coming in at a better angle, I think. So we'll reverse this out. Now, that wasn't that hard. 
Put the steps down. Oh, jeez oh, Louise. I'm not driving. Oh, maybe this needs to be done for the stars. There we go. See ya, mate. <laughs> Wasn't that hard? Oh, okay. Maybe that one. It's rubberized, isn't it? I think. Ah, we're too far out. I'm not. I'm not very good at this, as you can tell. It, the issue is, is because obviously I'm. I'm just using keyboard, so you press like W and it darts forward or S, and you're only giving it a little. See, I gave that a, a little, a little tap there. That was the light. Look at this. A few moments later. Oh, we're looking on the lights because obviously, we, yeah, that's green. So actually, if we press enter, no, there we go. We did it. Woo! Perfect. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's probably a few dents, but there we are. Yeah, like I say, it's a bit diff difficult to get the the, the power control because. The, um, when you press W, it just darts forward, S darts, darts back, so that's a little bit difficult, but we got it, we did it. There you go, you see how we made it there, look. Getting on all the, uh, all the booze. Oh, okay, maybe that might have done it. Maybe it was just, maybe it was glitched in. Yes, it was. I think it was just uh, glitched into the aircraft. Okay. Perfect. Right there we go. Catering is done, Zord. We'll move this out the way. Ooh, oh, nearly. Ah, miles around. Cool. So we need to connect the jetway now. This is fun. This is also one that, actually. I don't know. I don't think I'm, uh, I'm I'm bad at this. I've only done it once or twice. Okay, so we got this. Uh, you can't see my mouse, unfortunately, but in the middle, where, above canopy, is where the wheels are facing. So, so as you can see, if I'm pressing D and E, the wheels move. If I press, if I press, we'll hold Q and we'll turn the jetway around. There we go, that's nice and straight. Just trying to move this in. It's not the uh, it's not the easiest. But you got you gotta remember to make sure your wheels are in the right place. Otherwise you'll become a cropper. Get that nice and straight. St so, oh, oh, dear, 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 dear. Pull that out a little bit. Hey, green light. There we go. Press enter. Perfect. Oh, not too bad. Didn't ram the plane like I did with the catering truck. There you go. Jetway is connected. Load in passengers. And there you go. No. Oh. I see the passengers loading in. Right, next thing will be the. Um, I will uh, we'll move the canopy. Normally, I mean, normally they do that. Maybe, maybe that should be done at the end, because normally they move the jetway right at the end. But next will be the baggage. We'll get the uh, cargo doors open now, anyway. There you go. Very nice detailed cargo areas. 
the rear. Lovely. So is that us for the jetway? Yeah, to retract the jetway. And it's important you move her back to the rest area, as they call it. So if we press enter. There you go. You can see the, the canopy moving. And we'll pull this back. You can see where the rest area is. So now if I turn the wheels to there. There you go. Perfect. Pretty cool jetway operation. So that's done. We'll now go and get some baggage. Alright, so I've found it. It's over in this corner here. There we go. There's the baggage area. So we'll go over and we'll see what it's all about. There's a couple of liveries for this one I think I mentioned previously. This one is Delta Yankee Alpha. Cool, eh? Right, here is the baggage area. No, oh, left door, uh, right door, sorry. Look at this. This is pretty fancy. I think the last time I played this, it was like one little door. Or, uh, that's the wrong way. When it was a one-way system. So let's have a look at the operations. Um, wait for bags in luggage room C zero five. Take luggage from C zero five. Have a look. I'll have a drive around. Oh, crikey, crikey, what happened there? It's a bit tight. Oh, God. Oh, oh, jeez, Louise. Who, made, who designed this? How tight this is. I'll add up a little bit. Alright, alright, there we are. Prices are burnt. Prices are burnt. Yeah, this, this is pretty fancy now. Anyway, we'll jump out and we'll, uh, we'll try and find... Uh, I shouldn't be on one of the screens. Potentially, around the... Hey, this... There you go, Charlie Zero Five. That is... Yeah. Found them. Lovely. Beautiful. There you go. This is pretty cool. Not many bags for uh, 50 odd people on a flight like. Not many at all, but now uh, we'll open them up. Fire them in. Put them in there. Oh. So if you fire a case like that, oh dear, dear, dear! <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. Be out this right door here, trying to give it a good berth. That is pretty tight. Yeah, it's not the uh, not the biggest of places, is it? We we'll get them cargo doors shut. What is next will signal the flight crew to start the APU. There you go. Now wait for the APU to start. There's a little countdown there. And APU has started. So we will now disconnect the ground power. Remembering to kill the output. For the cable. Now go and get me a little truck. Now then, make sure we don't smash into the engine. Hmm. Oh, there maybe. What was that? Yeah. Let me old move that over. I'm going to drop 
this off over here. So we're clear from the aircraft. Which we are. Right, what's next? Trucks and corns? Perfect. Pick the corn up and went and fire it. <laughs> See ya! Look at this corn. Yeah, I, I think you can actually stack them as well, maybe. I think. If you can do it correctly. No. Not me. So if we press, uh, hold the middle mouse button. See if I can stack it. No, that doesn't work. Never mind, we tried. Our stacking skills ain't the greatest. There you go, we're going to move all that. Right side is clear. Come down here, we've got these chocks. Right, one more time on the stack. Press F to release the objects so over. Ah, there. Ah, oh god, that wasn't actually very. That wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> no, never mind. I'm not. I'm not. A, I won't get a job in a circus. I can't stack and juggle. And uh, don't any corn's going in the engine. Make sure all these are out the way. There she is. Right, we now need to do check the airplane. Uh, we need to check the air. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why we need to do a, a walk around when it's the you know the flight crew's job. But there we go. I mean, we'll just check. Check for I think the pins in. I think we're, uh, we're all done. Cool, and then we need to confirm the task. Ground, flight deck, walk around. Again, this is uh, the walk around. Is a, I, gu I guess you'd do like a visual inspection around the aircraft. Or, um, oh, here's the boys. Look at these. Look at this. Oh, he's getting plugged in. Oh, wing walkers. Beacon's on. We now need to go and get a pushback truck. Here he is. We've got the bison. We've got the bison. So we'll drag this. And then we'll spin it round. And we'll connect it up. Actually, I think you're supposed to connect it on the back first and drive it over. So that's what we'll do. 15 minutes. Ah, plenty of time. Oh, she can't see out the back of this, so you got. You do have to. What, cheat. <laughs> there you go. Connect that up. And then we'll pump this up. So the wheels are on the ground. You see there. And uh, everything, yeah. Want to make sure it's not riding the ground. Like that, perfect. Let's see where we need to go. Where are we? Uh, we need to go round, da down and round. Wow, I'm sneak, sneak in here, sneak in here. There you go. We'll stop that there. We'll disconnect this. So we've got to try and get this nice and centered, which is, well, easier said than done. Come from the back. A little bit more. A bit more. How we're looking. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. A little bit more to the right. And then we'll try and drag it in. Uh, we'll probably... Loosen that up a bit. 
Nope. And straight into the gear. There you go. I mean, that's got the force of nature there, pulling that in, but... <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. There you go, we'll spin this baby round. And we'll connect up. Got ten minutes. Perfect, plenty of time. Oh, there's a bl bloody cone in the way, put that there. Well, it's about to centre of the, uh, centre of the truck. Oh, I can't see. No, oh, I was a bit there. Uh... Right! Now I think we'll go, uh, flight deck. Push back, no, ground come. Oh, f oh, okay, what we'll do is... Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? Uh, we press 1, and, uh, we tell the flight deck that they can, uh, st start their engines. And enjoy the start up. Right! So we want to push it back. You see the green square? So we'll want that, so they'll want the aircraft in there facing to our right. So, if we add a bit of power. Here we go. Nice and easy. Now, as you can see, engine one is starting. Typically, on the 737, you know you normally start two, then one. Well, we'll see. This is air, obviously this is airport sim aircraft, as you can see on the livery. So we'll say that SOP is to start two, as, and the air, the aircraft is already going the wrong way. So this is what you gotta be careful of. Not the easiest job in the world, but I, I guess if I, maybe if I had a had my controller set up or something, then it would be maybe a bit a bit more easier. But we're out, we're already miles off the line. Damn me! How fast we can get her? There you go. Look at that. There we go. That's a proper pushback. Actually, I find it easier doing it at speed. No, maybe not. Can we pull the aircraft? You can. There you go. So if you reverse, you can pull the aircraft. And you want to start it's starting to we'll start making a bit of a. Trying to see if I can nail it, so try and just drive it straight at the minute. And now, go a bit left, a bit more left. So just trying to get that right landing gear over the yellow line, is what I'm trying to do. Drive it out here. It's not it's half bad. A bit stuck here, but what she's moving. I'm trying to bring it round. Little bit over, little bit over, but you know what? I'll take it. See if we can get this on the line. I will take it. Oh god, that is awful. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I wish I recorded the first one I done. That was much better. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe the pushback isn't for me. Oh, we did one. I think we need to go further back, actually. Right, let's see if we can salvage this a bit. That's a bit too hard on the old axle there. Trying to now, yeah, come right, come right. Nah, no, this is this is terrible. <laughs> it's 
Got it. Don't say push back plane. Oh, there you go. I'll jump out. Supervisor's unlocking the gear. <laughs> Let's steer to that. Jeez Louise. Where's the other geezer gone? He's run away. I need to disconnect that now. Now we'll still, I think we'll still keep that connected and then we'll drive away with it. Cable's still in there. Drive that back. And there you go, one terribly pushed back plane. There you go, he's removing the pin. I don't think you'd actually, I think you'd disconnect this and pull it away, but. There we go. Let's drive that up there. Oh, was fine. Where's the other Mara gone? No, oh, he's gone. God, he doesn't half walk fast. <laughs> now have we done it? Three minutes to spare. Let's see him move away from plane. Hang on here. Hey! New high score. You've completed this challenge with 652 left. Bosh. There we go. That was good, wasn't it? Apart from the pushback and the um, catering, but other than that, there we go. Uh, it's a pretty nice game. I'd like to see a few little things change, like here you can see driving, you can't see the map. I think the map's a bit, um, yeah, it'd be nice to see the map. And maybe have a bit more um, simpli simplicity with the map. Um, you know, just being able to see like specific routes on where to go. Because as, as you're saying, that the star was a bit all over the place. Driving on the taxiways when, you know, you should be really using the, the other roads. But I didn't know where to go. Didn't didn't really tell us. And then, obviously, I couldn't find the baggage because there was no route. So, a little bit of work on the route would be nice. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on Airport Sim. And uh, if you are going to buy it, make sure you click one of our links as it will help support the channel. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it make sure to like the video and click subscribe for more flight simulation action and we'll catch you in the next video